It's so nice to find like a content creator that you can relate to, that you can hang out with, that it feels like just a girlfriend, you know what I mean? And I hope that I'm providing that to you guys. I hope that I'm relatable. I hope that I'm spending time with you when you're at home, bored, and it's entertaining. <laughs> Welcome to a new vlog. It's early in the morning. I'm in the Target parking lot. I need to run in there and get a couple of items. I found some decaf matcha. If you're somebody who's sensitive to caffeine but you love matcha lattes, green tea lattes, I found mine from Amazon. I'll show you what it looks like, the brand and all of that when I get home. But it's so good. There's no difference in flavor. It's just, it's not technically decaf. It's 80% less caffeine. So I was really excited about that. And is that a Sephora? <sighs> they just opened up a Sephora right around the corner from my house. That's dangerous. Anyway, I got one of these uh, earrings I wanted to show you. I've been wanting to change out my earrings for so long. I got these little leaf ones at Amazon, but this is the one I got from Target. It was $20. I don't want like this big ball in my ear. I want to change this out to something cute, but um, I'm going to go to an actual piercing shop to get some of those earrings replaced. I'm also waiting on pest control. They're gonna be at the house in about two hours. We have the cutest little field mouse in our backyard. As much as I don't wanna destroy this cute little fuzzy and happy field mouse, it is a rodent at the end of the day and rodents multiply so quickly and before you know it, you're gonna have an infestation if you don't take care of it. And I live probably three houses down from this huge field so there's gonna be you know critters like that so we have to do the spraying i feel really bad i had rats growing up i know some people think that's so disgusting but i love like little critters like that anyway i also wanted to tell you guys that i rearranged our bedroom chris and i spent the entire day moving like the bed and everything so I'm gonna show you guys what our new room looks like. I put stuff in the office, it's like a whole thing. I wanna try kombucha again. I tried it one time, but I don't think it was a very good brand. So I'm gonna try this brand. It says it tastes great. There's less sugar, it's eight grams. Watermelon basil is the flavor, so I'm excited to try that. And then I'm trying this brand as well, Kavita, and it's the mojito, lime, mint, and coconut. We'll see. Somebody had a shot and then just left it there. <laughs> I was looking for a Greek yogurt, but this has 12 grams of protein and only 8 grams of sugar. So I think this is a really good choice for Chris as well. I'm going to get a couple of these. Some vanilla almond milk and oat milk. I've been feeding the dogs raw for a couple of months now and it is super time consuming. So I found something called Fresh Pet. It's in the refrigerator section of Target and I get the tender chicken recipe like wet dog food in a bag. The ingredients look really good. Check it out for yourself. I really like it. I actually need two of them. This is where I got the earring that I have in my ear right now. These are so cute and dainty. I love this brand. I think this is all I needed, so I'm gonna go ahead and check out. I'm just focusing on trying really hard not to go over to Sephora and check out some fragrances because that's the last thing I need. Whew, it's cold. My face has been breaking out because I started my cycle today and I've got things going on. So tomorrow I have a facial scheduled and I'm really excited about that. That is all. I'm back home. I also ended up picking up some more black hair dye and then some facial moisturizer and then this little black tube top because, I mean, 
that's just a good idea. Here's my bedroom. I completely took down those white bookshelves that were here. They were just way too massive for this space. And I ended up putting my little dresser here. This is kind of like my underwear and sock drawer. And then I put the little mirror up there. We need to paint. The previous owners didn't do the painting. And when we moved in, you guys know that we were kind of in a hurry and we just wanted to rush and move in. So I, had, I don't have our curtains up yet. We still need to do painting. I'm gonna have like a sage green accent wall. I think it's gonna be this wall here, but I'm not sure yet. Um, that's our closet. I put the mirror over here. It's kind of like that regular setup that I had in Kansas. And then I just put my hat and dresser up over here. We're both definitely a lot more satisfied with this setup instead. So there it is. I put a few things up in the office as well. A little plants here and then I ordered a mirror from Amazon one of those LED lit large mirrors to go over my desk so I can use this multifunctionally as a makeup get ready station and you know our workstation so Chris's reading area we need, definitely need to fix the books it's a working progress you know how it goes when you move in it takes like months to fully get settled I'm gonna take you guys back downstairs and show you the new supplements that I got hey Syro do you see the field mouse he hates it. It is bothering him so bad. Is that little guy out here again? Is he bothering you? Those are the holes that it's made and it just kind of pops out and chews on grass and then goes back in there. It's probably a female nesting. This is the matcha powder that I ordered from Amazon. It's the low caffeine ceremonial grade. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm really excited to have that and then with it you gotta have a little bit of vanilla since matcha is so grassy and I got the zero calorie skinny syrup and then down here I have my collagen that I'm gonna try to put into the um, matcha latte see if that tastes good and I got some fiber as well just some organic fiber with a prebiotic all right, you guys, I have my Bible upstairs and I'm gonna go ahead and do some reading for a little bit and then I will get back to vlogging. I don't know, maybe tonight or later today. you guys it's the next day I had my facial a couple hours ago and I got my package which I'm so excited for I got this mirror from Amazon it was a hundred and seven dollars and you just hit the little button here and it's a nice little LED <laughs> so I thought I would sit down and finish doing the rest of my makeup with you guys and just kind of chat I'm so tired I'm on my cycle, I'm miserable, I'm in a funk. It's storming outside, so that's not helping one of those days. But I thought we would make the best of it and do some makeup, do some chit chat. I'm gonna show you guys my uh, little Target haul, my new jacket that I got from H&M, so yeah. I thought we could just relax and hang out. I brought my kombucha as well. This is the Hum one. It's not very good. I just don't understand. I don't get it in terms of flavor, but I definitely want to continue drinking it because it made my tummy completely flat. Oh. I had some indigestion going on and I had a little bit of bloating and blah, blah, blah. Somebody said that if you drink kombucha in the evening time after your dinner and then you just wait until the next morning, problem solved and it definitely works it's so worth it I wish I knew about this a long time ago again this one is the watermelon basil flavor but to me it just tastes like a cup of vinegar yeah it's not good it's just not <laughs> but I also brought with me the mojito lime coconut because we're gonna try that as well I'm just gonna take a little taste of it and save the rest for tomorrow Anyway, you guys know that I have been wearing strip lashes for years and years and years. Recently, I found Lashify that I didn't know about, but instead of buying from Lashify, I found Lilac Street. It'll come in in a couple of days. It's a small company that started in 2020 and 
like I said, they just have fantastic reviews. So I'm really excited to get the little clusters and then you pop them on underneath your lashes and they last, um, I think anywhere from three to five days. So it's a very like temporary fix, but you pop them on in minutes, just like you do strip lashes, but you get to wake up with lashes. And that's my favorite part. I'm a back sleeper. So my lashes, I think will last a little bit longer. Um, this is the Valentino perfume that I picked up from Macy's yesterday. It's so sweet. It's the citrus one, the newest one that came out. Citrus something, something citrus. It smells really good, but it has a very young scent to it. It's very like floral and sweet. It's a, it's a girl's girl's fragrance. I really want the newest Chanel pink one. So I think I'm going to go back. I, I do like it but I don't love it as much as I thought I would. You know when you spray it in the store, it's never the same as when you wear it for a couple hours and then you smell and you're like, oh, that doesn't exactly smell like it did in the store. I have no problem returning it. I know some people don't like making returns. I'm like the queen of returns. If I'm spending $120 on a fragrance, I'm gonna love it. Love it. Now, typically I just get the little sample and I'll wear it for a couple of days just to make sure that I love it and then purchase the big bottle, but I didn't do it this time because I was just so excited about it. I was a little too ambitious and uh, yeah. Now look at me, I'm gonna be taking it back. If you're somebody who's uncomfortable with returns, my sister is just like, oh no, I don't wanna return it. Let me get these lashes on. She's just uncomfortable, it makes her feel bad. And I just don't understand that. If I'm spending money, I want to be 100% happy with it. And you know, they want you to be happy with it too. You know, I always thought that was so funny. She's like, no, I can't take it back. I feel bad. For what? That their product isn't working for you? Like, there's nothing to feel bad about. I could use some advice. If any of you girls out there have pigmented lips like I do, I have a little bit of um, like concealer on my lips but naturally they're pretty dark. They're like that reddish brown color. And um, I don't like the way a lot of lipsticks look on me because I don't get the true color. So then I have to put the concealer on and then put it on, but then you have like that thin layer of concealer that you don't wanna deal with. I don't know. What do you guys do if you have pigmented lips to get like the true color of your lipsticks? Help me out. I'm gonna do my brows and then I'll be right back with you guys. So all I'm gonna do today, I think I'll just move on to the lips and keep everything else super simple. What's new? My makeup is always <laughs> like the everyday makeup look. It's never anything spectacular. Should I do a red lip? I'm feeling red. How do we look? Makeup is done. I'm loving this mirror. It's the perfect size. It comes with a base. You can either mount it on a wall, like a TV, you know, or you can just put the base down, but it has screws and I don't know what the screwdrivers are. I'm gonna let Chris deal with all that. But yeah, I just love that it. it's pretty and it's the perfect size. I'm really happy with it for $107 and not bad at all. I'll link this in the description below in case you guys are interested in purchasing it as well. Amazon needs to sponsor me, don't you guys think? I promise you I spend probably $500 a month or more on Amazon, but I applied and they're like, no girl, you're a baby channel and we're not interested. <laughs> Major YouTubers only. <sighs> one day, one day, I'm going to, I'm going to put this out there into the universe. One day I'm going to look back on this video and say, look at me now working with Amazon, getting a check. Let me taste this kombucha first before we go. Mm -hmm. Mojito, lime, mint, coconut. Oh, it smells like a mojito, yum. Girl, by far, this one is so much better. Yeah, I got this at Target, it's 45 calories. It's so good. I'm excited to drink the rest of that. Yum. Hmm. Okay. Let's go try some things on. This is the jacket I got from H&M. Oh my gosh. It's suede and I love the rich brown color. And then this is the dress. Let me just try it on for you guys. How cute is this? This is $12 at Target right now. They carry it in black and this like royal blue color. Look how far down the back goes. Wow, it makes my butt look good. Girl, 
now that I've lost a few pounds and my thighs are just like a little bit smaller, it makes my butt look way better. I feel really good in this. I feel confident. I just need the weather to behave and get above 50 degrees here, here in Illinois. All right, let me show you the coat. I feel so cool in this jacket, like just letting it hang like this, like a big sack of potatoes. This jacket was $60 at H&M and I, it, I can't get over it. It feels so, so good. And then of course you can tie it. Here, let me move this up this way. Oh, you can see me better like that, right? There we go, yeah. You can cinch it at the waist like that <gasps> with some heels, girl. I feel so luxury. I think it's because of the way it's so buttery soft. I love this nice thick lapel. I love the deep pockets. What do you guys think? For $60, not bad, right? When I got this earring from Target is when I picked up the dress in this um, purse. I love that it's not bulky and it's flat. I love the size of it. I think it's absolutely perfect. I love that it has the little flap like that. And then you secure it like that. I don't know, it just looks so expensive and it was only $30. I had really tall black heels on. Is this not a vibe? Okay, let's go downstairs. Hi, you. Oh my gosh, I need to sweep and mop my floors. That's the one thing about wood floors, everything shows and I'm not used to that. How do I look? <laughs> Good, I hope, because I'm not changing. This is that salsa that I made. Salsa slash ceviche, whatever you want to call it. It has lots of uh, lime juice and the juice of the tomato and all that. I forgot to take the fish out. I thought I did that this morning. <gasps> Shoot. Maybe I'll just have this. I like to have uh, little frozen things on hand. Do you guys like the Amy's? This is the Pad Thai. I haven't tried this one, but I am going to warm up this food and eat and then get right back to you, okay? I think at this point, it's probably best to bring the vlog to a close. I've just been hanging out on the couch, watching a movie. I've been watching uh, Doctor Strange. I love that movie. Can't wait for the new one to come out May 6th. I just love him so much. But uh, yeah, I've got my heating pad on and I'm just trying to recover recoup be okay with this whole cycle you know how it goes i have no energy i'm hungry i'm tired so i'm just going to give in to all of that and rest and enjoy myself you know what i've realized i'm not somebody who has a lot of friends or like really any friends <laughs> and it's so nice to find like a content creator that you can relate to, that you can hang out with, that it feels like just a girlfriend, you know what I mean? And I hope that I'm providing that to you guys. I hope that I'm relatable. I hope that I'm spending time with you when you're at home, bored, and it's entertaining. And if you guys have any recommendations of things that you'd like to see, please let me know. I am here for your entertainment as well. It's not just my life. I want to show you guys the things that you want to see. So feel free to give me your opinions. Anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Enjoy your weekend. Don't forget you can always follow me on Instagram. I do have that linked in the description below. And until next time, bye for now.